Congratulations, Lisa. You really won. I couldn't have done it without you, Samuel. Thanks for bringing me the shoes. No problem. What kind of shoes are those? It makes you really fast. They're from Dr. Wunder. Come on, let's ask Jason how it went for him. Who is Jason? My teammate. Hey, Jason. How was your race? I won, but it was very close. I definitely need to be faster next round. I think you should relax a bit. No, relaxing is for losers. My dad always said that. Samuel, are we going to get a cheeseburger? Yes, good idea. I'm very hungry. Do you really want to eat a burger before the race? Yes, I need energy. Nothing gives me as much energy as a cheeseburger with extra cheese. Lisa, you need to focus. That was just the first round. The next round is going to be a lot harder. Really? Yes, you're competing against all winners of the first round. Okay, I'm going to work out too. It's just one more round until the final. I can really win this thing here. What's wrong with my shoes? There's smoke coming out. I need to take them off immediately. Okay, that's better. I hope it stops soon. Now the shoes have started to burn. I need to call Dr. Wunder right now. Hi Lisa, what's up? Dr. Wunder, I really need your help. The shoes are burning. Oh, that is not good. What should I do now? You must extinguish the fire somehow. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, that should be enough. Did you do it? Yes, the fire is out. Very good, you have to leave the shoes for a few hours now. That won't work. I'm about to have my second race. You can't run with your shoes on. They're going to break. Okay, I'll figure something else out. Thank you, Dr. Wunder. The second race is about to start. I've already prepared everything. Lisa is still in for her nasty surprise. Lisa, where have you been all this time? The second round is about to begin. You need to warm up. Excuse me, Mr. Coons. I just needed to do something. Why aren't you wearing any shoes? I put them in the washing machine. They were filthy. But you have to get on the runway soon. Which shoes are you going to run with? Oh, I didn't even think of that. I will ask someone if they can borrow me some shoes. Okay, but please hurry up. You can't be late again. Samuel, I need you to give me your spare shoes. Ah, uh, okay. What happened to the others? They've caught fire. But you won't win the race with my shoes. I've got to try it, Samuel. I don't have any choice. Okay. You can have my shoes. Good luck. I hope you make it. Marie, get back here quickly. Lisa's second race is about to start. Has it already started? No, but it's about to happen. Sit down. Welcome back, dear viewers. The second round of the 100-meter race is about to begin. If you think the first round was exciting then wait until you see the second round. Today, the fastest young people in the world are going against each other. Have fun watching. There she is, there is Lisa. Wait a minute, isn't that Samuel too? How, what is Samuel doing in Paris? Did he tell you anything about this? No, he hasn't. Not me either. Lisa, Jason, are you ready for round two? Yes, Mr. Coons, I'm ready. I'm going to destroy the others. Very good, that is what I wanted to hear. Lisa, how are you doing? 
I'm ready to. Say that with more motivation. I'm ready to destroy the others. Very nice. Then get out there and show what you can do. We won't disappoint you. The race is about to start. And I only wear these stupid normal shoes. How am I supposed to win with them? When I lose, everyone will laugh at me. Lisa, what are you waiting for? The others are already on the runway. I don't think I'm going to compete. I have no chance without the shoes anyway. What are you talking about? You've made it this far, Lisa. Do not give up now. With or without shoes. You're right, Samuel. I'm going to run faster than ever before. Thanks for your help. There she is, Marie. There's our girl. Come on, Lisa, you can do it. We believe in you. Hello, dear viewers. Please fasten your seatbelts tight. Here is the second round of the 100-meter runs. It's going to be a head-to-head -head race. Only the winner will make it to the finale. Are you all ready? Yes, we can start. Okay, ready. Set. Let's go. They're all much faster than I am. I need to run quicker. What is going on there? Three of the participants slipped. Is everything okay with you? Did you get hurt? What are you doing there, Lisa? Run to the finish line right now. You can win the race. Mr. Coons is right. I can be first. Sorry guys, but I need to win. Woohoo! Lisa won again. I'm so proud of her. You did it, Lisa. You're in the finals. Yes, but what happened to the others? They slipped. It can happen to anyone. All three at the same time. Maybe they made each other nervous. It doesn't matter, Lisa. I want you to be happy that you won the race. When is the final? It's taking place tonight. Please rest until then. You're going to need your energy. Okay, see you later, Mr. Coons. Well, how does it feel to cheat? What do you want from me? You cheated. I should have won that race. We both know that. It is not my fault that you slip. I didn't just slip like that. There was oil on my lane. I did not do that. How stupid do you think I am? Enjoy the success, you're a fraud. I didn't put any oil on the running track. But if it wasn't me, then who was it? There is a letter in my locker room. Who wrote it? Hi Lisa, I'm glad you won. You have me to thank for that. I sabotaged the race. I'll see you in the final. It'll be your last race. You can believe me. Huh. Someone wanted me to get to the final. But who could that be? Who wrote this letter? Lisa, the final is in two hours. Are you already excited? Do you know who I'm running against? You're going against the French runner. Do you know her name? Her name is Clara Montreux. Oh my God. Is everything okay? You look so surprised. Yes, it's all good. I just need to take care of something real quick. I'll be right back. Hey Lisa, congratulations on your victory. You're in the final. Samuel, we've got a problem. What's up? Are the shoes still not working? No, much worse. Clara is back. Our Clara? Yes, I think so. That can't be. We abandoned them on a deserted island. 
How do you come up with that? Someone has sabotaged the race. Otherwise, I wouldn't have won. And my opponent in the final is called Clara Montreux. Is that the only reason you're so worried? Lisa, relax. There are a lot of Claras in this world. That is definitely another Clara. Yes, you're probably right. Maybe I'm worried too much. Everything is going according to plan. Lisa is in the final with me. Now I can destroy her once and for all. Be prepared for something, Lisa. This is the end for you. Can you believe that, Marie? Our daughter is in the final of the Olympic Games. I can hardly believe it. Should we call them and motivate them? Good idea, I'm sure she'll be happy. We can tell her that she'll get a new phone if she wins. Perhaps then she will make an extra effort. Yes, let's give her a call. Yes, Dad, what is it? Lisa, it's us. We just want to wish you the best of luck, sweetie. You'll win that race, I'm sure of it. Lisa, you can do it. Thank you, that's really nice of you. We have another surprise for you. Yes, I'm listening. If you win, we'll give you a new phone. What, are you serious? Yes, of course. Anything for our champ. Thanks, I needed that. I'm definitely winning now. I don't care who this Clara is. I'm going to destroy her. What are you up to? I'm going to go outside and work out. I will win today. Hi, Lisa. It's good to finally see you again. Clara, it really is you. What are you doing here? What does it look like? I will defeat and humiliate you. But we did leave you on the island. How did you get back? I'll never forgive you for that. No. Please don't leave me behind. I want to go home again. Where am I anyway? I was alone for months. I could only eat fish and berries. And there was no toilet paper. Do you know how bad that is? Can imagine it. How did you get back to Europe? After not eating anything for a week, I was so weak. I suddenly just passed out. I thought it was the end of me. When I woke up again, I was on a plane. Someone saved me. Where am I? Don't worry, you're safe now. You almost killed me, Lisa. You wanted to blow up my friends. And make me think it was my fault. You're going to regret it all, Lisa. Why can you even compete for France? Because my mom is French. I'll see you in the final. I've got a few surprises for you. Is everything okay, Lisa? No, Clara really is back. I have to put an end to this whole thing. Is there anything I can do to help you? Yes, call Dr. Wunder. Tell him I need the shoes one last time. Okay, I'll take care of it. It's time, Lisa. This is your last race. I want you to run like it's about your life. This is really about my life. I'm going to run faster than ever before. I know you're going to make it. Thank you for everything, Mr. Coons. I'll see you on the other side. Good luck, Lisa. And Samuel, what did he say? Lisa, you can use the shoes. But only for a few seconds. Otherwise, they break. Okay, I got it. There is a button on the side. It allows you to activate the shoes. Thanks for your help, Samuel. Have to go now. Good luck, Lisa. You can do it. Oh my god, it's starting. Now comes the finale. I hope Lisa wins. Hello, dear viewers. I hope you're ready. Because now is the final of the Olympic Games. It won't be a normal 100-meter race. There is a parkour all over Paris. Lisa Peters from Germany and Clara Montreux from France are in the final. 
In the end, there can only be one winner. Our two participants are already on the runway. We're ready to go. There you are, Lisa. I thought you wouldn't be afraid. Afraid of you. Never. It'll be our last fight, Clara. Whoever reaches the finish line first has won. We can't go on like this forever. Anything you want, Lisa. If I win, you do what I tell you to do. If you win, I'll leave you alone forever. Well, let's finally get started. Your destination is two kilometers in this direction. Whoever crosses the finish line first wins. Good luck and take care. It'll be your end, Lisa. Keep dreaming, Clara. Ready. Set. Let's go. Hey, that was an early start. See you later, Lisa. You won't win that easily, Clara. Is that all you can do? You're slower than my grandma. I'll show it to you. Oh yes, I want to see that. Come here. Oh no, Lisa is behind. This Clara is really fast. I think I know her from somewhere. There is a fire. Are you afraid? I'll see you at the finish line, lame snail. I can't just give up like that. I just have to get over the fire fast enough. What does it look like, Mr. Coons? Can you see anything? The two have almost reached their destination. You can see the end of the race. There is only one obstacle in between. But Clara is ahead. The goal is ahead. But the cliff is at least two meters long. You had no chance against me from the start. You don't really want to jump over that, do you? Sure, what else? Clara, that is crazy. Even for you. You don't understand that. That's why you'll always be a loser. Clara, wait. I have to do it now. I need to activate the shoes. Clara, hold on tight. I'll help you. I won't let you help me. I'll see you again, Lisa. I promise you that. I need to get through the finish line. Then I won. Yep. Lisa won. Clara fell off the cliff. What does that mean? Lisa won. I knew she could do it. How far away is the destination? A. 1 kilometer. B. 2 kilometers. C. 3 kilometers. Leave a comment.